Hello and welcome back to another Roblox script and tutorial. Today is going to be part 6 of our Morph GUI series. Um, so today we're going to be doing uh, different teams. Um, and that's, yeah, that teams oh, and uh, Morph specific weapons. So let's get into it. So first thing we are going to want to do is turn on our GUI so we can see what we're doing. We're going to highlight both our legions in uniform and make them not visible. And we're going to insert another frame. And this is going to be our team selection frame. So we're going to want it to take up the whole screen. Uh, make it black. And then 0 0.8 background transparency. That looks pretty nice. And we are going to create a text button. We're going to make the size 0. 0.5 and 1. And then we're going, to, we're going to make the text 0 so nothing shows up there. Actually, make the background transparency black and 0. 0.9. And then we're going to make another text button. And we're going to change the position so it's over on the right side. And change the background transparency for this one to 1. So we're going to have one team on this left side of the screen and one team on the right side of the screen. So you guys can choose which one. I'm going to put hostiles on the left and republic on the right. Inside the hostiles one we are going to put an image label and I'm just going to go get a free CIS one because I don't have one of my own. One yeah, that should do. One that prefer, pref preferably, I can't say that word, has a transparent background. We make the transparent the transparency of the background to one, and we're gonna change the size to three hundred by three hundred. You guys can change that whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Actually, that's really big. Two hundred. Two hundred. And then the size is 0. 0.5. And then if you guys did a size that wasn't two hundred. Make sure you do 0.5 and then you do minus half of whatever your size is. So it's right in the middle and then 0.2 and then text label. And we're going to make this 0.2, um, 300, 1. We're going to change the color to white. And just name it CIS. Yeah, let's make this scaled up a bit. That looks pretty good. And then we're just going to copy everything inside there to our Republic one. And we're just going to change the names and the images around. So, yeah, oops, is that true? Yeah, that is. No, that's a bad one. So a few of you guys have been asking me to uh, like go and team create with you and put the Morph GUI into your games. And really, I shouldn't have to do that. You guys should be able to do that by yourselves. All you have to do is copy and paste all the scripts we did and put it into your game. I, like it's all you have to like you have to just make sure you copy everything. So everything in replicate storage, everything here. As long as you copy everything and all your group IDs are correct, it should work fine in your game. And then you can just move the spawns around to where you want them and stuff like that. So it's not it shouldn't be too hard. Um yeah. So there's that's that. Alright, so we have our two teams now. So we're gonna come to our script, our local script. We are going to change the date. Twenty fifth, twenty seventeen. And we're going to create a function here. Function Republic Team. Actually, we're going to replace this first line of code with Function Republic Team. And then we're going to write, come down here, function 
Raider team. And we're going to put this in there. And then we can delete this. So we are going to do script dot parent. Oops, what did I just do? Okay, whatever. Dot parent dot parent dot team select dot republic dot mouse button one click connect function if player is in group divisions dot main group how do we label that main group okay just main group then republic team else um we'll come back to that later Actually, no, we'll do it now. Else, we're going to copy and paste this. Dot text label dot text equals you are not in the group. Wait to, and we're going to change the text back. Equals Republic with capitals. And then for the hostile one, so for this one, if they are in the group, we're going to tell them that they can't join the team because they're in the group. You are in the clone group. And if they're not, then Raider team. So. And then for Republic team, we are going to have to do script dot parent dot parent dot team select dot visible equals false. And dot what would we name it? Script parent parent dot legions. Yeah, we have we have a variable for that, don't we? Legions. Yeah, we do. Oops, why did I do that? Legions frame dot visible equals true. Uniforms frame dot visible equals true. And for the Raider team, we are going to copy and paste that. And we're going to make sure these are all false. So let's test this. So, so I'm on the Republic team, so that worked. And if I'm on the CIS team, oh, that's a problem. Um, where is that? Change this to CIS. Why that not work? Oh, because we call it hostiles. So you're in the clone group, so you can't choose CIS, but if we are in the clone group, it works. And if we change the main group ID to something I'm not in, like some random group, and I click Republic, I'm not in the group. If I click CIS, I spawn. So that's that. Now we have to. I'm gonna also gonna fix the camera. Um, wherever that is. So let's get rid of that line. Um, we're gonna Control X that. So cut everything there and then come down here and paste it. So now if we go to Republic, I'm not in the group, CIS, I just spawn. But if I am in the group, oops, that's a problem. And I click CIS, I'm not going to spawn, but if I click clone, it's going to bring me to the menu. 
All right, so that's that. All right, so for character-specific weapons, um, all we're gonna do, I'm just gonna get a free gun. Say is this AK-47. If I wanna give that to one of my people, one of my morphs, um, just put it into your morph, just like that, and we'll code it so it gives them everything. So we'll do 4v in pairs. Or actually, we have a. Actually, in pairs. Morph dir get children do if v dot class name equals equals tool then v clone dot parent equals player dot backpack and then we have to add another one to starter gear so now if we choose rex well i can't choose rex i'll put it into wolf And now I get the tool. But if I choose another morph, say fox. Oh, um, I made one mistake. Don't put the starter gear line, just the backpack. So now if I choose Thorn, I won't get it. But if I respawn and choose Wolf, I do. Alright, so that's everything for today's video. Um, make sure you guys subscribe, uh, like the video, turn on notifications, and stay tuned because I'll be releasing a second video today as well. Thanks.